Mayor Lori Lightfoot is defending the decision to join forces with an out-of-town grocery group to replace the Inglewood Whole Foods store that closed in November. And WGN's Julian Cruz is live at the 16th Ward offices of Stephanie Coleman with the fallout tonight. Julian? Well, Ray and Mike, oh, Southside Alderwoman Stephanie Coleman, among many in Chicago's Englewood neighborhood, deeply unhappy with a new tenant coming in to open up a Save-A-Lot store here at Whole Foods, where Whole Foods used to be at Halstead and 63rd. I did not receive the official, I only heard whispers. 16th Ward Alderwoman Stephanie Coleman with harsh words for City Hall. There has been little to no transparency on who the options were. Coleman pointing to what she says is overwhelming dissatisfaction in Englewood with the new plan. I was disappointed. Adrian Powell among the local residents we found not happy about a new Save-A-Lot store going into where Whole Foods used to be at 63rd and Halstead. I was disappointed when that goes. I get my seafood up out of there. We've got to be about the business of solving problems. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot says she's talked to community partners and city aldermen about the lingering problem of food deserts. We had no takers. That is just the truth. The mayor and her team facing enormous challenges in finding a replacement in Englewood. We worked tirelessly to talk to all of the other um, food um, and grocery store chains across the city um, and urge them to take a look at that community. City Hall announcing $13.5 million in tax increment financing to grocery group Yellow Banana to operate a Save-A-Lot store in Englewood, the black-owned grocer in other Midwest cities, and they're focusing on other underserved Chicago neighborhoods, the mayor says, on the south side and elsewhere. We've got to solve the problem of the need for affordable food options in that community. And I think that this yellow banana led save a lot is going to do that. Michael Nance, co-owner of Yellow Banana, saying, quote, we look forward to building a deep and lasting relationship with the community to ensure this location is everything the Englewood community wants and deserves. Coming up at 630, our veteran grocery store executive who sees tremendous potential for local vendors with this new save a lot proposal. In Englewood, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Thank you, Julian.